Hey guys, Paulo here. Today I'm diving into the world of network attached storage, also known as a NAS, through the lens of my new Ugreen NAS Sync DXP4800 Plus. In simple terms, a NAS is also short for a network attached storage, like a smart hard drive that lives on your home network. Instead of juggling multiple external hard drives, a NAS simply gives you centralized storage, automatic backups, remote access, and even media streaming. Imagine having all your family photos, movies, and files in one safe box that's always accessible, and that's what NASs are all about. But why? does it matter? Well, compared to an external hard drive, a NAS is way, way more versatile. You get data redundancy with RAID, for example. You can access files from anywhere and it can run apps from Plex Media Service to surveillance specific applications. In short, a NAS can be the heart of your home's digital lifestyle. And the Ugreen NASIC aims to make this even easier if you're new to the world of network attached storage. Storage. And I'm going to show you how I've integrated it into my ecosystem and it was so quick and easy. So let's check it out. Let's talk about what the Ugreen NAS Sync DXP4800 Plus is all about. This is a 4-bay NAS, meaning it has slots for up to 4 hard drives, whether it be 3.5 or 2.5 inch. Each bay can handle the latest high-capacity drives, so in total you can pack it in a massive 112 terabyte of total storage if you populate everything to the max. For context, that's roughly 39 million photos or about 76,000 movies. In other words, storage limits are a thing of the past with this device. Under the hood, it's powered by an Intel Gold 8505 5-core CPU, a 12th gen processor that gives it some serious muscle. This chip actually has a mix of performance and efficiency cores. To simplify, it's more powerful than the typical Celeron CPUs you find in many other NAS machines. Alongside that, there's an 8GB of DDR5 RAM, expandable if you feel ambitious, and even a built-in 128 SSD where the NAS's operating system lives. Having the OS on its own SSD means the whole system feels snappy and responsive during use. One spec Ugreen loves to tout here is the speed of up to 1250 megabytes per second. This NAS Sync has dual high-speed network ports, one 2.5 gigabit Ethernet and one 10 gigabit Ethernet. If you connect over 10 gigabit Ethernet with appropriate hardware on your PC or network, the theoretical max is around 1250 megabytes per second transfer rate, which is insane for a home setup. In real-world terms, though, Ugreen says you can back up one gigabyte in less than two seconds using these speedy connections. In my testing, I got close to saturating a two and a half gigabit link, still pretty impressively fast, especially since I just tend to use it wirelessly for the most part. Overall, I was really impressed at how snappy it was. There are also plenty of USB ports in the front and even an HDMI port for direct 4K output if you want to use the NAS as a media center. Another standout feature is the AI Album Assistant, an AI-powered photo management system, which this NAS isn't just a typical dumb storage box, it has the smarts to organize your pictures. It can recognize faces, scenes, objects, and even text in your photos, then automatically sort them into albums. I was surprised to see it group my photos by family member and location without me lifting a finger or arranging it in any way. It even finds and removes duplicate photos for you, which is a huge time saver when you have years and years of photos. Think of it as your own personal Google Photos, but totally private and under your control. Ugreen also emphasizes smooth, beginner-friendly setup. As someone who sets up a few NAS boxes, I found the NASIC DXP4800 Plus to be one of the easier ones to do and set up. 
The initial installation was very straightforward, pop in a few drives, the toolless trays, plug it in, and the web-based UGOS Pro setup wizard guided me through the creating storage pools and user account process. Within minutes, I had my personal cloud up and running. The system's user-friendly app support means you can access your files or manage the NAS from any device, be it Windows, Mac OS, Android, iPhone, or even just on your web browser on a smart TV. Now, who is this NAS for? And why did I pick it up over something like my older QNAP TS453A? Well, if you're like me, a tech enthusiast with a growing media library, you'll appreciate the leap in performance and features. My trusty QNAP TS453A served me well for many years. It's also a 4-bay NAS from 2016 with a quad-core Intel Celeron. It could handle 1080p streams and basic backups fine, but it was starting to show its age with heavier 4K content and multiple users. The QNAP had HDMI output that could output 4K30, but it was limited by its 1 gigabit Ethernet network ports and an older CPU. So in practice, large files transfers from the QNAP would top out around 110 megabytes. So it lacked any AI features as well. So fancy modern software touches was definitely a huge upgrade with the Ugreen NAS Sync. This thing feels like a next-gen upgrade. The first thing I noticed was how snappy everything was. That Pentium Gold 8505 chip in the Ugreen makes the old Celeron feel downright sluggish. For example, generating thumbnails or indexing media on the QNAP could take its time and it would take forever. On the Ugreen though, it's very smooth and very fast. Multitasking like streaming a movie while copying files in the background was a pain point on the old NAS, but the Ugreen handles it very gracefully thanks to those five cores and definitely faster RAM. So who is it for? Well, this one is specifically aimed at power users, photographers, content creators, or even small offices that need robust storage with modern speed and features. It's also for beginners who want to future-proof. You might not need 10 gigabit Ethernet today, but having that option built in is great for the long term, especially since 4K is now becoming the standard with everyday cell phone devices. Let me give you an example how I've set up the NAS into my home ecosystem. I have a bit of a dream setup here, an Asus ROG Rapture GTAX 11000 router at the center of my home network and the 4K home theater in the living room. In a home theater context though, the NAS holds all my movies, music, and high resolution photos. And through the router's fast Wi-Fi 6 system, I can stream 4K HDR movies from the NAS to my living rooms, Nvidia Shield, Apple TV, or to my Xbox Series X console without buffering. It's super seamless, especially when you have a fast router like the ROG 11000. If you're starting to accumulate a ton of data, say you're a photographer, videographer with terabytes of footage, or a family with years of home videos, series, movies, that's when a high capacity NAS becomes a lifesaver. Or maybe you're like me and building a home theater, you want all your media on a server that can dish out content reliably, even for a small business user, having a secure central server for files that multiple employees can access remotely is definitely a huge win. And that is something that the Ugreen NASing does extremely well, regardless of what your situation is. Let's touch on something super important, data security. Ugreen claims professional data security with certifications. In practice, the NASing has a bunch of enterprise-grade safety measures. First, your data can be kept on redundant drives in RAID configurations so one drive failing won't lose anything. Second, all network transfers can be encrypted and you can enable HTTPS, VPN services, etc. for remote access to keep prying out. 
The NAS supports advanced encryption standards, which is often dubbed military-grade encryption. In plain English, your data is locked down unless someone has your password. There are also features like two-factor authentication for logins and granular user permissions. For example, I can give my family members access to certain folders and not to others, or make some folders read-only. Ugreen also adheres to various safety certifications like CE, FCC, and others, which, while more about the product's reliability and emissions, adds to the trust that the device is professionally built. Coming from the QNAP world, I find Ugreen's approach to security refreshing. They make it clear when you're setting up remote access what is being opened up, so you can make informed decisions. Plus, with 100% data ownership on your own private NAS in your own private network, you're not relying on third-party cloud services, no monthly fees for Dropbox or Google Drive, and no worrying about those services, outages, or breaches taking place. It's your cloud and your rules. To wrap things up, let's quickly revisit the 5 W's for this device. It's a high-performance, 4-bay network-attached storage device, the Ugreen NASing DXP4800 Plus that acts as your personal cloud with up to 112 terabyte capacity and blazing 1,250 megabytes per second potential speeds. Now, why does it matter? Because in 2025, we're dealing with 4K videos, huge game files, and millions of photos. This NAS offers a fast, centralized, and secure solution for all that data. It's an upgrade to your digital life, making backups effortless, media streaming smoother, and file sharing available anywhere you go. And who is it for? Tech enthusiasts, home theater gays, content creators, photographers, small businesses, or families with tons and tons of media. Basically, anyone who hasn't outgrown a single external hard drive and cares about their data. If you value your memories and files and want them accessible and safe, this is for you. And where does it fit in? In your home network or office. For me, it's right next to my router tucked in my media center. It fits into a home theater setup, a gaming den, or an office IT closet as well. It's very, very quiet and sleek, so it doesn't draw attention or make a racket. And it becomes a hub where all devices connect. PCs, laptops, smartphones, smart TVs, you name it, and it's ready to share media files on the go. When might you need it? When you find yourself saying, I have no space left on my computer, or I wish I could access this file from my phone, or is my data really safe sitting on this desk drive? That's when a NAS like this makes sense. So overall, I'm really impressed with the Ugreen NASing DXP4800+. Plus. It took the spot of my QNAP TS453A without breaking a sweat, and it's given me a noticeable upgrade in speed and capability. Yeah, it's it's a premium device, but you're getting premium performance and features in return. The fact that this was Ugreen's first big NAS series, born from a hugely successful Kickstarter, and they nailed so many aspects, from hardware design to software, it's very commendable. If you're considering stepping up your home storage game, I'd say give the Ugreen NASing a look. I've dropped a link in the description where you can get 15% off if you're interested. With that deal, it makes it even more compelling. All right, that's it for this review and casual tour of my setup. I hope you found this helpful and got a sense of how this NAS can fit into a real home environment. If you did, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech videos in the future. And if you have any questions about the NAS or want to share your own NAS setups, drop a comment below and I would love to hear what you guys are using. I'll check it out and hey, I might even feature it on the channel. I'm very curious to check out what you guys have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.